Hi and welcome back to Plugged In, the OB Gaming series. Um, I am here with Beryl Lallier, as I was earlier today, and I am here to ask her a second question, which is, what is her view on the effect of subscription models on the industry? The good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah, hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Well, I think um, there are two um, approaches in the conversation. There is a customer perspective and the business perspective, yeah. I think. Yeah. As, as a customer, I mean, personally, a customer of subscription, I quite like my, my subscription. I have my gym membership. Yeah. I, have, I love my streaming entertainment, uh, you know, Prime, Disney Plus, Netflix, all of them, you know, <laughs> they're all brilliant. As we all uh, do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and also Spotify for my music, yeah. you know. And so, I, you know, I, I think it's um, overall as a customer, um, it, simpli it simplify my life and keep me entertained and you know and it, it's really good it's e easy you know it's yeah. uh, and it's and i think you know on the console side of thing and the, and more on our business um uh, the gaming business i think they they have been a lot of you know very good offering um uh, available on the console i think so mm. um they you know we, we they are like very uh, solid um subscription service that incentivize or disincentivize disincentivize uh promotion on specific titles so i think it's you know it's interesting i think uh, as a game uh developer uh and you know it's it's as far as very important to to see how those uh, platforms devote more uh, and more of their storefront to uh, promoting the title, mm. which are part of the subscription. Mm. Uh, and I feel it's, it may become um, harder to discover a game that have potentially an alternate business model. But I think, you know, uh, subscription model um, are, are there and have pros and cons, goods, uh, you know, and bad and ugly. <laughs> and we'll go through <laughs> that uh, a bit later. But I think, you know, ultimately it's uh, it's there uh, mm. and it brings some value for the customer, as I was saying, personally, I like my sub, but, you know, it's, 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 it's also for a customer, um, I would say cause uh, how the player values the content, so, you know, and they may value mm. the game a bit differently, you know, it, as a, as a player, wh why would I pay, you know, uh, 15, 15 pounds, 10 dollars uh, for an indie game yeah. when I can have 100 of them? Yeah. I could play for free with my monthly subscription. And also, uh, why, um, why play um, a free game when I can um, play a 60 game, a $60 game for free with my monthly subscription, you see? So I think as a player, I'll be like, it will, it will actually um, impact the way uh, I value those titles, you know, mm. slightly differently. And I think the secret of, of success for, for us as uh, game developers is, is really to, it's always been there. It's always been the same. I think it's, we have to make good game. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then if our game is, is really good, you know, yeah. whatever model we have, if we are accessible through a sub or through uh, um, uh, a, a fully paid, um, you know, uh, premium game or, or mm. free to play game, we'll find our audience. So I think that's yeah. uh, always the same thing. But, but it's true subscription will definitely impact, uh, you know, the way the player uh, are going to value um, our, you know, content, I think, in my opinion. So um, I have my, my three sections. So on to the good. So <laughs> what are good, really, in those subscriptions? I think, um, as I said, it's like similar to, to me when I pay my sub for my uh, own entertainment or, mm -hmm. you know, I pay a, a set amount of, of money and I get a a great you know access to content and it's quite clear it's defined i know what, what i'm going to get and, and yeah. i know the value so it, it's it's really it's really good as long as you see it is clear up front okay yeah <laughs> because yeah when, when it's not clear enough of what you get access to it can be a, a bit yeah. um disappointing but yeah so i i, I think it's a, it's a good thing with sub uh and also it's you don't have to worry, okay, I need to pay a bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of that. No, no, you pay your sub and you have this access. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Um, uh, on, a, on the business side of things, um, the, 
it makes it a bit easier to forecast your or predict your revenue mm. <laughs> because it's kind of linear in some extent. So it's really yeah. influenced by the number of users you get. And then, you know, if you forecast fairly uh, relatively well your number of users, then you can forecast uh, your revenue or predict your revenue uh, a, a bit easily. So, and, you know, when you have free to play game where you need to figure out, okay, what proportion or what will be the LTV for all my uh, players, etc. So I think that's that's a that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think the sub uh, has a very good uh, bring a lot of value, more especially through the console, because I think potentially uh, as a as a smaller uh, developer or indie developer, you can have more potentially more funding and visibility for your title on those. Yeah platform that may have been missed otherwise. So I think mm -hmm. that's a very good uh, opportunity um, for us to seize um, as, a, as a developer. So that's my good, the good yeah. of my subscription. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, should we go on to the bad? Yes, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, yeah, so uh, on the bad side, I think, you know, um, if you only go for a subscription model, uh, you know, for, for your content, your revenue is going to be capped. Yeah. Uh, so you, you, you just rely on the number of uh, subscribers. So when your subscriber goes down, let's go, let's, if we think back about what we were saying earlier about the post pandemic, like, let's like saying uh, people say, okay, I'm not subscribing anymore. Yeah. I am not, I'm going to go to the seaside, going to spend my money on vacation or, or resume my gym membership instead of having my uh, subscription to my gaming. So like that, I'd be more healthy or whatever. Yeah. This is where it's pretty hard for a business because if you really only rely on that, it can be uh, become mm. challenging for you. Um, also, um, when there is no clear or transparent path to become, you know, part of the subscription service, like the one on console, I think that could be uh, um, a, a, a bit, you know, uh, harder to, for uh, smaller, um, uh, smaller uh, developer to, to take part of this or, or, or seize this opportunity. And I think it creates yes. some uh, um, difficulty uh, and, and maybe, uh, yeah, difficulty for smaller guys to kind of, okay, I want to be part of this game path thing and uh, who I should talk to, uh, uh, you know, and, and yeah. I think it's, uh, it can be a bit uh, hard uh, for them to, to gain some visibility. But again, you know, it's always the same thing in our industry. If you have a very good game, you'll find your audience. Yeah. You know, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Support you if have, the game's but... good enough, you, you kind of skip through that curation. You will, you will get there. But yeah. you're right. There is an extra, extra layer. Yeah, definitely. Um, and also, also what we saw before is like certain genre um, uh, of game were excluded from the subscription model, like the free-to-play game. Mm. Um, uh, well, historically, they were not included. Recently, they have been included uh, in Game Pass uh, with uh, Riot got um, a, a deal there and got yeah. the game there. But yeah, before that, it was always um, uh, difficult for free-to-play game to, to, to get their, um, mm. you know, their share on those, of presence on those subscription, you know, um, uh, subscription model so I think it's it's quite difficult for for if you go if you are like if you were an indie we're working free to play game it's like okay how I'm gonna be visible on this console and on this platform if I don't get part of the of mm. the of the sub uh, and also more especially when you know the cost of getting presence on the storefront over there it's it kind of you know, yeah. it requires some, you know, good investment. So it's, it's, it's been, you know, originally um, something bad, but I think the fact now it's opening up to free to play game. I think it's, it's, it's going to, to help, you know, yeah, uh, a a broader group mm. of, um, of developers. Um, yeah. To, Cause otherwise free to play games have, have had to spend an awful lot more on marketing in comparison. If, if it kept going yeah. down that track to, to kind of cut through some of that noise. And as you said, the benefit of subscription is you don't have to think about it. It's paid. You know what you're getting access to. And you've got one, you know, one um, amount of money going out of your bank every month. But actually, free to play then needs to cut through a lot of that noise and try and get around that um, easiness. <laughs> yeah. And more especially because uh, 
more and more the consoles really allocate uh, a large amount of space on their storefront to, to promote the subscription, the, yeah. the, the game included in the subscription, you know, uh, model. So it's, it's yeah, it, 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 well, it, it has been challenging, but it's getting much better. And I like yeah. my, I like the sub store, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's going to be good for everybody uh, yeah. in the industry. Um, but yeah, uh, I think for me that's the uh, the biggest bad uh, mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. the of the sub uh, model. On the ugly side of thing, um, I think you know when the platform runs its own subscription service and it's incentivized to promote at that service at the expense of the other title, it's it's a problem. And I think that's where it gets mm. ugly. And that's the the point we were making earlier is like you know if um, you know, you're not part of the sub, you have, you, you've made your game, but you cannot cut through and get the visibility. Yeah. And I think that, and not having options really uh, to get mm. your, the word out. It's, 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 I think that's the ugly part of it, but it's getting better. I'm yeah. sure. Um, also um, something else I can see is like su subscriber can be less likely to try a game outside of the subscription. As they already play paying, you know, mm. for for other games. So I think, you know, as well when you are into the sub, you know, it's like when you have your Netflix, you go like, oh, do I need Prime? Do I need uh, Disney Plus? Do I need yeah. Hulu? You know, and it's you know, if you're already paying one, wh why should you buy something else? Yeah. And why should why would you buy, you know, um, um, a Blu-ray or, or whatever, you know, if you already pay your sub, it's just like, oh, maybe eventually we'll go on the sub and maybe I should just stick to that. So I think it's as well is, um, you know, um, it's going to change, but I think it's, mm. it's something that potentially will just put the players into like, well, I'm paying my sub and I'm not going to spend yeah. any more yeah. money on gaming outside of this sub. So that's potentially something ugly. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> um, also, the hidden charge, uh, I think, is um, one of the ugly side of the sub. It's like, uh, you know, so you have always the same thing. Yeah, okay, I have my gym membership. And, you know, when COVID started, I had my gym membership running. And it took me, I think, like, three months to cancel it and then i yeah. like to contact yeah. them and say hey guys uh obviously you guys have been close i've been stuck home can i have my refund and you know and i think you have like those hidden charges as well when you pay a sub sometimes you just forget you know yeah um, and and you know uh, you know that's like that also sometimes you pay a sub and i think that the thing i i um you know i don't really like is you you pay a sub for a certain um uh, set of content and then all of a sudden the rule change so you cannot uh, stream 4k content anymore you cannot uh, you have to pay extra now to get uh, these things or to not get your advertisement or whatever so I think when the content and the contract uh, of the sub change with no without a clear communication from uh, the platform I think that's uh, a bit ugly and I think mm. a lot of platforms have been a bit guilty of that. Guilty, like, yeah, yeah, we, we're changing. It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, we stole them in a very at the bottom of a tiny, yeah, the in small a tiny, print. Like, yeah, the always small the small print. print. Yeah, in an email, I was like, oh, I never saw that. Why can I? Not, <laughs> do I really not have to pay an extra now for that? Yeah. So, so I think that can be a bit ugly, and I think that's um, something that. Uh, doesn't give a good press or a lot of trust from the customer uh, standpoint and to sub sometime. But yeah. yeah, I think we all have to be very careful in how we treat our players and our customer and making sure we are not, we're clearly upfront in when we're changing things. So like mm -hmm. that people understand and say, okay, I know, I get it. And, yeah. and offer, offering options to, you know, to, to cancel sub, I think clearly as well. Like sometimes like when you want to cancel your sub, it's like- so you have to go through, yeah. And, and stage did, after stage after yeah. stage. I was like, you cannot find the right path. And then you send your yeah. email, you need to validate the email. And then they say, but you sure you want to leave? Why are you leaving us? <laughs> <laughs> because because but yeah, yeah so anyway yeah. it's uh it's uh uh that's a very um ugly i would say in some yeah. extent yeah. Um, yeah and uh also there is um when there is exploitative subscription so like when 
the sub said you need to log every day to get the full value from your sub. Mm -hmm. So I think that's as well something quite ugly. I think it, it's less frequent this day, but it has been there. Uh, and I think that's something I think it's not really, it's not good. It's again, it's bad practice, you know, to, to, to force your customer to do something they don't want to do. I think nobody yeah. should do that. Ultimately, um, it should just be something simple and easy uh, and pleasant for the user thinking like, oh yeah, I've paid my sub, I can play that and that's easy. Um, uh, what is that I have as well? Oh yeah, um, something as well. I mean, back in the days uh, when I was um, uh, playing MMOs, uh, back in the days when you were buying your game, you had one month sub included and this will change, I think, a few years later. It's like, you are now you pay your premium game like $60 or yeah. I don't know, 40 pounds or something like that. And yet you cannot play the game unless you pay your sub. Yeah. So I think that's very you know it's i understand why it's happening but i think it's uh it's it's it has to be uh more understandable for uh the players and yeah. and, and sometimes just the person who will make a gift you know uh to someone they think oh i gave you i bought you that and the person says, hey cool story i cannot play thank you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for buying me this great game <laughs> I need but to i now have to <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I need to pay a subscription in order to be able to enjoy this yeah. game. So I really appreciate your gift, but, you know, and, <laughs> and I think it's like, um, you know, things change a lot uh, and change, change often and, and it's fine, but I think we need to be as a business owner and, you know, and, and people in our industry, we need to be very uh, clear uh, in the way we communicate um, to our players. So like that, they, you know, they make, uh, educated decision, you know, yes. uh, on going for sub or not, etc. So, uh, and uh, I think that's all I have in my uh, all all the uglies around. Oh, all my uglies. <laughs> but as I said, you know, initially uh, at the beginning is uh, I quite I like the sub. I think it's a uh, it's a. I mean, for me as a customer, I think it's a uh, it's it's easy. It makes my life easy. I think it's um, still finding its feet, and so I know you know subs have been around for a long time yeah but in in the new guys and kind of how they they look now and and what they're all about it is still quite new that that new side of them so I think it will take some time to work through some of these things that could become challenges um but but yes no thank you very much for your time Vero really no, appreciate pleasure. it and I look forward to seeing you at develop so that we can yeah. all actually get together <laughs> definitely really really looking forward to seeing Thank you, you. Uh, uh in two weeks is it yeah it's in two weeks yeah wow. two weeks not long wow. thank you very much thank you so much Catherine thanks Pharaoh.